Hello students, today I wish to first introduce you to the subject of total quality management which is thought as an elective subject in the final year of engineering. The topic of my presentation today especially focus on total quality management for engineers discussing about business requirement of engineers in today's business context. The growth of engineers to manager in an organization and later I proceed to discuss the tools and techniques used in TQM. I begin my introduction to the subject of total quality management. The Japanese word Kaizen means improvement and focus on practicality and small and incremental improvement involving a cultural change in the way we do business. Business requirements of engineers have been evolving over the years rather than being a mere technical specialist confined to a specific product or function of a business. In today's context, business requirements of engineers are demanding multidisciplinary education, effective communication skills, sound knowledge of business and active decision making process. The role of engineers are evolving rather than being confined to be a technical specialist. Engineers are evolving to take up project management role in technical projects through the process learning the financial aspect of project management. Slowly, engineers can take up role as group manager by acquiring the skills and knowledge of finance and team management. Through the years of experience and knowledge, an engineer can become director or administrator of an organization. Now, coming back to my subject, I wish to introduce you to some of the tools and techniques used in TQM. First, let us understand what a process is in a quality management system. As you can see in the diagram, it has inputs or sub processes and an output delivered to an internal or external customer. The inputs could be materials, money, information, data, etc. and the output could be products, services, data, etc. The process, in, process is a value added management activities transforming inputs to outputs with the help of a following resources, people, equipment, method, materials and environment. We could have many sub processes forming a series of processes making the system to meet the requirements of internal or external customer. We could also have a feedback system in place for a process in order to continuously improve. Some of the important approaches towards continuous process improvements are Juron's Triology, Schubert's PDSA that is Plan, Do, Study, Act, Kaizen, Reengineering and Six Sigma. One of the best approach is Juron's Triology having three components planning, control and improvement essentially based on financial processes of budgeting that is planning, expense measurement that is control and cost reduction that is improvement. Coming to PDSA cycle which was first developed by Schivert and then modified by Deming now called as Deming's wheel PDCA, it is an effective improvement technique. PDSA cycle is a four step process, first plan what is to be done, next do it, third study the results and finally act on the results by identifying what worked as planned and what did not. Kaizen is a Japanese word for the philosophy that defines management's role in continuously encouraging and implementing small improvements involving everyone. Through the process of continuous improvement in small increments that make the process more efficient, effective, under control and adaptable. In nutshell, Kaizen focuses on value added and non value added activities. Muda, waste reduction, phi yes, based on Japanese words proper arrangement, orderliness, personal cleanliness, clean up, and discipline. Poka yoka to prevent detect errors, conflict resolution, etc. Reengineering is the fundamental rethinking and radical redesign of business processes to achieve dramatic improvements in critical measure of performance. 
Six Sigma is from Greek word which means statistically 99.9999998 percent error free in product ser or services. It measures standard deviation and in TQM it uses process capabilities analysis as a way of measuring progress. Coming back to PDSA cycle as a problem solving method as shown in the diagram, it consists of 7 phases. Identify the opportunity that is phase 1, analyze the process that is phase 2, develop the optimal solution that is phase 3, implement that is phase 4, study the results that is phase 5, standardization the solution that is phase 6 and plan for the future that is phase 7. As you can see diagram how these phases interact with plan do study act cycle. Thank you students for attending the session.